Hello everyone, I am Sheetal Desai, the president for U.S. PAC Southeast Chapter, located in Atlanta, Georgia, and an attorney and partner at the Trusted Lawyers. I am thrilled to open the awards ceremony for our scholarship program and the What's Your Pitch competition. Since 1989, over $2 million in scholarships have been awarded through U.S. PAC South Scholarship Program. Thank you to CVS Pharmacy, Cyanet Systems, Dave Blink Consulting, Denny's Hungry for Education, MSL Express Inc., Train Technologies, and the Wang Family Charitable Remainder Trust for their contributions you have made to help this program thrive. To our scholarship winners, we are honored to assist you in your future endeavors. We look forward to seeing the remarkable new heights you will achieve and the younger generations of Asian Americans you will inspire with your leadership and success. We really wish you all the best. U.S. PAC's What's Your Pitch Innovations Competition gives entrepreneurs a unique opportunity to pitch their ideas to a panel of judges for the chance to win cash prizes, coaching, and connections, and valuable experience and exposure. Since 2014, the winners of the What's Your Pitch Innovations competition have gone on to raise over $3 million and be featured in Forbes 30 Under 30. All of this would not be possible without the generous sponsorship and assistance from our sponsors. Thank you to our legacy sponsor, Wells Fargo, and to our co-sponsors, AT&T, Nationwide, Southern California Edison, and Train Technologies. You have helped us fuel this amazing competition for innovative startups. To our winners at Pedal Cell, Leap Photovoltaics, and ATP MD LLC, we can't wait to see how you continue to grow. Without further ado, I'd like to kick off our award ceremony. Congratulations to all our winners and thank you again to our many sponsors. Hello, my name is Fred Lona. I am proud to be committee chairman of US PAC scholarship program that since 1989 has awarded over $2 million. This year, we are honored to award scholarships totaling over $50,000 to 14 incredible Asian American students. We often receive over 3,000 impressive applications each year. And these 14 students stood out for their accomplishments, goals, and aspirations. Their stories inspired us and their dreams will take them far. This program has been well supported by corporations with Hallmark scholarships, in endowments from Asian American businesses looking to support future Asian American leaders. Thank you for your contributions, AMCUS, CVS Pharmacy, Cynet Systems, Dayblink Consulting, Denny's Hungry for Education, MSL Express Inc., Tran Technologies, UPS, and Wang Family CRUT. And to our winners, congratulations. We are so proud of your achievements and we are excited to see where the future takes you. I come from a family of immigrants and they all succeeded in this country because someone invested in them. I knew that if I was fortunate enough to receive a scholarship, I would have the backing of an organization that invested in me as a future leader for my community. Growing up um, in high school, there were a lot of robotics uh, mentors on my high school robotics team and that was a huge part of uh, my deciding to come into electrical engineering so I hope in the future that I will also be able to mentor possibly some high school teams or maybe even a middle school team to influence more people to join STEM. I think US PAC um, has shown me a lot of generosity on the scholarship and a lot of financial support. Um, I'm really close to a lot of my high school teachers so I'm, pr I'm pretty positive I will come back and either support through financial means or just guidance towards students that were like me. Uh, so first, I'd pretty much like to thank uh, US PAC and the UPS as my sponsor and it'll help fulfill my dreams of becoming an environmental and economic advocate. Having a voice and a representation in our community is important to me and it was really interesting how they had a college scholarship program for this, so I wanted to apply and see if I could um, join this community. I plan to use this scholarship to fund my studies in the social sciences, which will eventually allow me to pursue a career in higher education while also encouraging my ventures in civic engagement. Asian pride in supporting 
each other, especially with like the backdrop of the pandemic and the massive rise in AAPI hate. This organization, I think it's really great in that they are sh showcasing this Asian pride and trying to cultivate it within our community because it isn't found in pop culture or the media that much. And I wanted to be a part of this organization that uplifts others and promotes values that align with mine. In the future, I also want to give back and have this much of an impact on too on the lives of like future college students, especially as a first generation low income student. It's these scholarships like US PACs that really encourages first gen low income students to really think about applying to college in the first place. So I was like really grateful that I was able to win the scholarship. It was like extra special that it was like from US PAC, um, which is like centered around the Asian American identity. US PAC has a core philosophy of investing in future leaders. And as a scholarship recipient, I feel that it's my duty to uphold that philosophy. And to do so, I'm working with the local tutoring organization in my hometown to develop curriculum that teaches students the fundamentals of programming. As an Asian American um, that is very proud of my Vietnamese heritage, I wanted to apply for a scholarship that was more catered towards me. Uh, all this is like, I want to make my family proud and I want to make myself proud of myself. The biggest thing for me in college is trying to understand how I can be better every day. And I hope that using this scholarship, it will allow me to take steps forward to be the best I can be out there. On behalf of Train Technologies, I'd like to say congratulations to our scholarship winner, Serena Pang. Serena is a new freshman majoring in neuroscience and public health at Johns Hopkins University. Serena, we couldn't be prouder to award you this scholarship. Double majoring in medical sciences is no easy task, but we have full confidence in you and know you'll represent Train Technologies and US PAC very, very well. We wish you all the best in your studies and future endeavors. And for all other scholarship recipients this year, congratulations. We know that you will go on to do remarkable things and leave your mark in the world. Congratulations again to Serena and to all the 2021 scholarship recipients. Dennis has been a proud partner with USPAC for more than 20 years. I want to thank Susan and her team for their partnership and passionate support, particularly working with us on our Hunger for Education Scholarship Program. We have awarded over $1.5 million in Hunger for Education Multicultural Scholarships to more than 400 scholars throughout our partnerships. What a great commitment to investing in students' education and helping them to pursue their dreams. What makes the Hunger for Education Scholarship Program so special is that it recognizes students who are working to build better communities. USPAC has been such a key partner for us because its vision aligns with our goals. Like Denny's, U.S. PAC strive to fuel success for students and for minority-owned businesses. We love feeding people, and that is feeding the mind, body, and soul. We look forward to a continued partnership with U.S. PAC as we work to transform lives. Congratulations to our Hunger for Education scholarship winners and to all of the scholarship winners. My name is Monette Knappick, Senior Director of Supplier Diversity for CVS Health. It is a privilege and an honor for CVS Health to be a corporate member of US PAC. Let me take this opportunity to recognize the recipients of this year's scholarship awards. Jerry Lynn Lalani Encarnacio, UCLA, Isabella Alvarez, Eastern Washington University, and Michelle Dang, University of California, Riverside. Congratulations, one and all. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to United States Spanish and American Chamber of Commerce's 2021 Scholarship Award Ceremony. My name is Anne Ramakumaran, and I'm the founder and CEO of Amkis Inc., a global business and a technology consulting and a staff augmentation firm headquartered in Chantilly, Virginia, 24 miles west of Washington, D.C. Today is truly the day to celebrate successes of all these scholarship recipients. Congratulations to all. A special shout out to Kelly Hong, Amcus Scholarship recipient. Once again, congratulations to all. Future is bright, keep rocking, and here's wishing all of you all the very best and continued success. Take care, stay well, and God bless. Hello, I'm Katie Macias, VP of Strategy and Client Partnerships at Synet. 
one thing that is near and dear to our heart is giving back. And as a certified Asian American minority owned business, as well as a certified MBE, diversity, equity, and inclusion is part of our DNA. Four years ago, Susan Allen and her team introduced us the opportunity to participate in the scholarship program, and we've never looked back. It has been nothing short of a humbling and inspiring experience. To read the stories of our brilliant future leaders evokes so much hope and instills great promise for the betterment of our world. As it is their vision, it becomes our duty to ensure that their ambitions, desires, and endeavors will bring us to a community of one people working together for a unified world. Thank you, Susan Allen and the US PAC team for creating a platform of success, an opportunity for growth, and a, ch a chance to bring equality to the equation. To our scholars, keep on climbing. You are the future, you are making a difference, and you will continue to make a difference. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Wong, founder of Dayblink. On behalf of the family of companies, I'd like to thank Susan Allen and her wonderful team at USPAC for providing a wonderful platform to support the Asian American community. With that, I'd like to congratulate this year's winner of the Dayblink Scholarship, Raina Choi. She's a current freshman at the University of Notre Dame from Harbor City, California, a double E major, and congratulations. Go Irish. As president and CEO of MS Express, I'm proud to offer my sincerest congratulations to each of the 2021 U.S. PAC College Scholarship. Every year, MS Express awards scholarships to qualified high school seniors who not only impress us with their GPAs and high academic goals, but share the challenges they've overcome at a young age and their hopes to give back to their community. These students, represent the best and brightest hope for our future. This year, MS Express is proud to have sponsored Christina Vo, who is a freshman at University of California, Davis. Christina, we know you will do fantastic things in the future and hope this scholarship helps you achieve your academic and professional goals. And to all scholarship recipients, you are the future. Keep working towards your goals reaching new heights, and being the means of making positive change. Thank you, Susan and USPAC, for the opportunity and platform you've given us to recognize and honor these incredible Asian American students. MS Express is honored to work with you and continue the mission of investing in our future leaders. Congratulations to all of our 2021 What's Your Pitch Innovations Com Competition winners. Trend Technologies is a proud supporter of U.S. PAC's What's Your Pitch and is always eager to support innovative entrepreneurs in their business endeavors. This year, Trend Technologies requested an additional focus on sustainability during the judging of each of the pitches from the regional preliminary rounds through the national finals. We believe that this new focus on sustainability will help entrepreneurs of all stages of their business grow to realize the importance of protecting the environment and diversity through their business models. Additionally, we decided to award one of the competitions up from the national finals, the first annual Train Technology Sustainability Award for their dedication to sustainability. My colleague, Paula Washburn, will announce this year's winner shortly. Congratulations to our winners, Pedal Cell, Leap Photovoltaics, and ATB MB LLC, not only did you wow the judges with your innovative presentations and business models, but each of your businesses were founded on the principles of sustainability. On behalf of Train Technologies, I wish you all the best and continued success in your businesses. I'm the co-founder of Pedal Cell. Our company creates the power source for bicycles. I was really just taken aback by the multiple years that, that, that the companies have participated in. I was really blown away by some of the traction they had, as well as uh, some of the growth they've had since. It seems like a great fit for our company's stage uh, in terms of where we were in development. I thought it made sense to apply uh, and not really knowing how things were going to shake out. I, you could kind of hear the excitement in some of the judges' voices and saying, man, you should be looking at X, Y, and Z to continue growth 
as well as uh, some possible new avenues for us to explore when you're talking about new markets and opportunities with our technology. Uh, so I thought there was a really good balance in terms of being encouraging, but also offering constructive criticism and advice. This pitch competition is one of the smoothest that I've ever participated in. So huge props to the team. I'm the founder of Leap Photovoltaics, and I'm here to tell you how we're revolutionizing solar manufacturing. I started to see how useful getting this outside feedback is and how great like the pitch competition format can be for feedback and to meet people, whether they be other founders or investors or companies we might want to work with. When the opportunity came up to do the What's Your Pitch competition, it was sort of a no-brainer to jump in. Questions and feedback from outside people, especially like the expert judges that um, you guys pulled together for the What's Your Pitch competition is always super helpful. We were happy with how we did and happy to be kind of in this cohort of great companies. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to come out as one of the winners. And, you know, that's sort of like a, the cherry on top. If I were Earth's doctor, I would prescribe ATPMB's CRBBP process to combat climate change, promote environmental justice, and create new bioeconomy jobs. As an entrepreneur, I'm always looking for an opportunity to uh, let the world know about what we do. So I was very happy to compete. I'm hoping this is just the beginning of a relationship that's mutually beneficial as we explore the application of our technology across the world so that it can combat climate change. Uh, it, it will allow us to provide other environmental services in countries around the world. I'm honored to have been in a uh, very select group of entrepreneurs. It was a very good experience and uh, I would recommend it to anyone. On behalf of Nationwide, I would like to offer hearty congratulations to all of our 2021 What's Your Pitch Innovation Competition winners. Nationwide has been supporting the U.S. PAC. What's Your Pitch? innovation competition for many years. It was an honor to sponsor this year's competition and help new entrepreneurs have a stage and a voice to share their innovations. To our winners, Adam Hoken of Pedal Cell, David Bernie Needleman of Leap Photovoltaics, and Joseph James of ATP MD LLC. I wish you nothing but success in the growth and development of your companies. We at Nationwide Hope you learn valuable lessons from the judges, moderators, and other competitors from each regional preliminary through the national finals. These lessons will only strengthen the foundations of your businesses already have and propel you forward into a new stage of growth and maturity. Congratulations again to all of our winners. Hello, my name is Jelena Bowden, Director of Supplier Diversity at at and we are pleased to be a co-sponsor of this year's U.S. Pan-Asian Chamber of Commerce's pitch competition. U.S. PAC's year-long competition provided the opportunity for some of the best and brightest diverse talent to share their ideas. 150 applicants representing 15 industries from across the United States is a phenomenal undertaking. At at and we're excited to hear about new innovations and technologies that create connections and deliver transformational capabilities across industries from healthcare to education and technology. The nature of how we do business and conduct our lives has dramatically shifted and we will continue to transform. Our physical and digital worlds continue to merge, shifting reality and challenging us to reinvent what's possible. We know that the ideas generated from this pitch and others like it will enable the next league of inventors disruptors and creators to unite technology and human ingenuity to solve everyday problems that can make our lives better. So on behalf of at and I extend our congratulations to the 2021 winners of the What's Your Pitch Innovation Competition. Adam Hoken, David Burney, and Joseph James, the first, second, and third place winners, congratulations and we salute you. Much success on moving your phenomenal ideas to the next level. We'll be following you. Hello, I am Paula Washburn from Train Technologies. I'm the Associate Manager of Supplier Sustainability and Diversity. 
I also am on the board of the U.S. PAC in the Southeast region. I'm excited today to give this new award for sustainability from Train Technologies to Salabata. They have demonstrated great efforts in recycling plastics. They've identified 300 million tons of plastics to recycle into shoes. They also are transforming into circularity throughout their business, which is a great sustainability effort for the environment. We also recognize 5% of their proceeds go back to empowering women and feeding the hunger. We thank you, Salabata, and we are very proud and wish you much success in the future. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. I, we are really excited at Salwata to uh, hear this great news, particularly about the Sustainability Award presented by uh, Tra Train Technologies. Uh, we are extremely excited to um, have this. And uh, for us at Salwata, our vision is to invent lifestyle technologies that help people and the planet. And be beyond revenue, uh, we also understand that this award will also go a long way in also promoting our cause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.